told you all your streaming needs could possibly fit in the palm of your hands. Let me introduce the OBSPOT Meet 2. Claiming to be mini in size, mighty in sight, well, we're going to unbox it right now and find out for ourselves. Similar to the classic design of the Meat and the Meat 4K series, the Meat 2 has the same look with a compact design making it extremely portable and able to fit on any desk space. It also has several upgrades to the tech side of things that we will talk about in a few minutes. But from a visual standpoint, I really like the magnetic privacy cover, although some may prefer the original design of the cover attached to the body. I like how this gives a more sleek design when in use, that's just my own personal preference. It also comes in three different colors, cloud white, aurora green, and the one we received, space gray. I can tell by looking at it that it will pretty much set up to any tripod because it has a standard quarter inch thread. Let's talk about some of the specs. AI auto framing, whether in portrait, landscape mode, or mount it upside down, you're always right side up and perfectly in frame. Also has a beauty mode feature and can easily switch between other devices you may have set up as well. Half inch CMOS sensor for clearer, brighter images in any lighting conditions. An f-stop of 1.8 aperture allows more light to enter in low light environments without reducing overall quality. Supports 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. HDR technology for rich, vibrant colors and contrast, equipped with phasing detection, autofocus, or PDAF for short, gives 4X digital zoom, ensuring consistently sharp professional video. Built in dual omnidirectional microphone with noise reduction and auto gain control. Auto sleep mode can configure sleep time with sleep background options. Compatible, supports open sound control, deep customization through API integration, Steam Deck and global hotkey configuration. Specs aside, let's get into the heart of any review. How easy is it to set up and update the firmware? How does it look and how does it sound? First off, I wanna thank OBSBOT for sending me this camera. All my thoughts and opinions are my own and for Comparison's sake, we're going to stack it up against our current streaming cam, our Logitech Brio 4K Ultra HD. So I have an entire mess of recording equipment and we're gonna set it up right now along with the Logitech Brio and my 4K D7500 Nikon. So they literally are set up side by side for this comparison. As you can see, I have my other screen in the background and it's recording, recording me, but they're set up side by side. So I'm having a similar field of view. Lighting's the same, everything should be exactly the same. So now we should be recording with the Meat 2. Um, I am using two lights right now. We're going to try it without lights as well, but I wanted to show you guys how it works and what it sounds like. Just for comparison's sake, I do also have my Nikon D7500 set up. You're seeing that now on the screen with the microphone that goes through that. And for another comparison's sake, we're gonna go over to Logitech Brio right now. All right, so now we were, are recording with the Logitech Brio 4K Ultra. And I'll tell you, I have my screen in the background and I'm trying not to make any snap judgment comparisons, but at the price point I paid for the Logitech Brio at the time, and yes, I did buy it two years ago, and the Meat 2, which is newer technology, 
I'm leaning more towards the neat too, which we're gonna go back to right now. And I will add these screens side by side so you guys can see them like that as well. All right guys, so now we're back at the table and we're filming with our regular camera. And I think it's safe to say the Meat 2 is the clear winner. There's not even a comparison in my mind. The only one thing that I will say is that I probably would never use the Omni directional mic for either one of them. Um, anytime I set up the Logitech Brio, I always set up my Rode mic. It's a much better mic and I think that's the limitations of any webcam. They're including a mic, which is great, but it's never going to be your best microphone. In a pinch, I think it works okay, but I'm always going to use the Rode mic. And so that's my only caveat here. I was super impressed with how it worked in low light situations, how it worked upside down, because I have it mounted upside down right now. Um, we didn't get to test it in portrait mode, but I will show some footage and video from Ozbot showing how their products do work in portrait mode. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just really floored with using this on our next streaming um, that we'll be doing. And it, it will be this camera. I can't deny it. It's a fantastic device. And you'll see some comparison. We're going to show you the specs of the Logitech Brio and also of the Ozbot Meet 2. Now they are very similar, but there are some standout differences, which for me is the f-stop of the 1.8 versus the f-stop of the two on the Logitech Brio. And I think that makes a big, big difference for the aperture. I have um, lenses for my, my regular filming camera you're seeing now that I can switch out. And I have some that have a lower f-stop that I tend to use more because they do give a nicer, crisper quality, a better bokeh to the background. Everything I love about my Nikon, I'm getting this in the meat too. Not as obviously good quality because there's a big price difference, but I was shocked how well it worked. So I would strongly suggest if you're looking for a webcam, and I don't say this lightly because this was, they're not paying me to say any of this. These are my own thoughts and opinions. Again, I think the Meat 2 is great. I, if it wouldn't have been offered to me as a product review, it would definitely be something I would buy. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope I give you some food for thought between the three cameras, uh, what your setup is, maybe somewhere you could upgrade. And I think this is a great webcam. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, game on.